March 26th, Chinon. It is one thing for a band of dispirited soldiers to put their trust in a teenage girl. It is entirely another for that girl to be given command of the army of an entire nation. We were filled with pride when we heard the Dauphin's heralds pronounce Jean the Maid as commander of the army of France. So that she may look like a general, the Dauphin presented Jean with a great war horse and a suit of white armor. Jean instructed me to look for an ancient soul buried beneath the altar of a local church. I was skeptical, but not only did the men unearth a rusted blade, but we found that the sword belonged to Charlemagne, grandfather of France. I shall not doubt her word again. Still visible on the hilt was the fleur-de-lis. Jeanne adopted the fleur-de-lis as her symbol and had it blazoned upon her battle standard. Wherever Jeanne goes, the standard goes also. It goes with us to Orléans. The city of Orléans is one of the finest in France, but it is under siege by our enemies, England and Burgundy, and is about to fall. This war has dragged on for 100 years with precious few French victories. The people of Orléans need a savior. They are to get Jean Navarre. I am the Duc d'Alenchon, my lady. I will proudly ride with you to Orléans. Bon chance, John! Our city needs help. The British are coming! The and rabble shall not stop us. Leave it. Welcome to Bois, Jean of Arc. The army of France is yours to command. Libé. Now, on to Orléans. We need to get those supplies past the British.
Deluxe. Jonimed has come. We are saved. Hurrah! Jean of Arc has brought our supplies. Now we can muster the forces we need to raise one of the British castles.
Parfait. Vilain. Parfait. Vilain.
belongs to Britain now. Never forget that. prophecy that she would be wounded at Orléans. At the height of the battle, an arbalest boat knocked her from her horse. We could not believe our misfortune. But as we carried Jean away from the carnage, the battle was won. Orléans was free. When we entered the city, the entire population cheered us on from windows, rooftops, and city streets. They fired artillery into the night sky and shouted aloud their nickname for Jean, La Boussel, the Maid of Orléans. 